In today's show, we're going to be going over Profit First and how we use it for our business, which is primarily on Amazon. So I'm Dr. Travis Ziegler. And I'm Dr. Jenna Ziegler. And we're just going to kind of wing this. We didn't really rehearse this out or anything, no. but we're going to be going over Profit First. And if you're joining us live, let us know if you've used Profit First down in the comments below, or if you're just watching the replay of this, let us know in the comments below if you've ever read Profit First or you implement it. So my goal with today is do twofold. We're going to talk about it first of all, mm -hmm. and then I'm actually going to share our screen and hopefully I've never done that with StreamYard yet, but we'll try mm -hmm. it. And I'm going to show you actually what a worksheet is. And I put the worksheet that we use and I put in the comments below as well, a link over to the blog post that talks about this. So if you start to get lost a little bit, just kind of go to that blog post and check it out. Um, I have an example of our business. And then I also made a spreadsheet for you guys that you can see in the comments below or you can find it on the blog post as well. And that spreadsheet, you can copy over to your Google Drive and use it for your Profit First. Yeah. Anything to say about Profit First? Um, so basically, if you're wondering what Profit First is in the first place, it's a book by Mike Michalowicz, and it's a wonderful book. He has a ton of business books that we All recommend. I mean, mm -hmm. we recommend you read every single one of them, no matter what stage of business you're in. But Profit First was really a game changer for us because what does it mean? It means taking your profit from your company first before you do anything else, before you buy anything else, before you spend money on anything else. And it really forces you to look at where all your money's going. So many companies out there, and we did this before a couple of years ago, we just were kind of running by the seat of our pants. We had no idea where our money was going. We just knew whether we had money in the bank or whether we didn't. And that's and how now, most entrepreneurs operate is they're like, oh, I have money. I'm going to yeah. spend a bunch. And then they're like, I don't have money. I need to hustle. Yeah. So now we know exactly how much money is in each account, we're going to go over all those accounts for you and tell you how to best utilize them. Yeah. So most businesses, how they run is they take income minus expenses to figure out what their profit is. And what this book forces you to do or kind of encourages you to do is to take income minus profit equals expenses. Mm -hmm. So you take your profit first. That's the, the name of the book. That's essentially what you're doing is you allocate that money towards profit, whatever you want your profit to be and you take that money out and put it into a separate account that you can't see and that you can't look at, take away from, or anything like that. So that's what we run our business as. We've been doing it for about two years now. It's very hard at first. <laughs> and it probably took us about a full year and a half to fully get to the point of yeah. it actually working. Um, but now we're, we're, we're for, like, we have a planned profit of 10% every single paycheck and 10% goes into a separate bank account that's profit. So yeah. let's break down the different accounts and kind of actually let's let's first um, talk about last year in general. Mm -hmm. um, last year we did a profit assessment of our business and we actually saw that we needed to trim expenses somewhere. So we actually fired five people from our business, um, more of like an agency. Mm -hmm. And then we had to cut Facebook ads by 20,000 and we cut software fees by $3,000 a month. And so that, was huge for us because it wasn't sustainable in our business. We weren't hitting profit goals. We weren't paying ourselves. It was a rough year last year, but since we switched all it around, we trimmed the expenses. We're following profit first this year to a T it's a lot less stressful. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, I don't know, profit first for us, it's been, at least for me, it's been the absolute best Thing that we've ever implemented in our business because now I can actually see where the problem is. If we don't hit our profit first, we can zero in on that account and say, okay, well, what in that account made that happen this month? What did we spend some extra money on this month that maybe maybe we had to or maybe we didn't need to, but it was just frivolous spending. So it makes it easy to you know look at really where your expenses are going. So just a couple like testimonials before we get into the actual how to do it. Um, you know, Kayla says, I love this book. She's in our Amazon PPC pros group. Um, I believe we implemented profit first this year. Not sure what took us so long. Best decision we've ever made. That's mm -hmm. Mark. Um, thanks for telling us about this book. It transformed our business in two months. That's Linda. And awesome. then Adam says, likewise. And then sweet stamp says over here from the 1% welcome. Somebody says, what's up T and J. I don't know who you are because you <laughs> haven't given StreamYard permission, but I can find out in two seconds. So they're probably it's right Mark. here. It is Mark. <laughs> Okay. It's Mark. How'd you know that? Did you see it? It says Mark. Oh yeah, there is. How about <laughs> that? All right. So let's just jump into like how you do profit first. So the first thing you do is a profit first business assessment. So we're in the year 2020 right now. What we do is we look at everything from last year. And so get the statement from your accountant and just take a look at it. And so the first thing you want to look at is your profit account. So what's that very bottom line? And so you have your top line revenue, you have your bottom line revenue, 
And the bottom line, of course, is your profit. And so figure out what that number is. And you put that number in the spreadsheet I give you. I'll show you here in just a little bit. The second number is how much did you pay yourself not counting taxes? So that's called the owner's compensation. So how much did you pay yourself? The third is your taxes. So what'd you pay in sales, state, and federal tax? And then the fourth column that you want to do is your, your OPEX, your OPEX, your operating expense account. And so this is your staff, your independent contractors, your software, your advertisement, Facebook ads, Amazon ads, Google ads. And mind you, this is towards Amazon sellers, how we're doing this. Yeah. Your accounting, your legal, your advisory fees, like your masterminds, education, photography, listing optimization, all that goes into operating expense. Now, a big difference between the book and how we do things is we have a cost of goods account or an inventory account. And so we've calculated and made a separate account for inventory purchasing. Yeah. How many times has your supplier given you an invoice and you're like, I don't have this money. Mm -hmm. How am I going to make this? We wanted to always have that money available in our account. And so it took us a little bit to fine tune things and find out where our inventory account needs to be so that we can cover everything, you know, every month that we order. Um, but it's really been wonderful to kind of separate that out from the operating expenses because that's such a huge chunk of what your, you know, your operating expenses. Are. And this is pretty much your, your cost of goods landed at the fulfillment center. So yeah. shipping to get it there, not to your customer, but to get it there and then the inventory cost itself. So the boxes, the packaging, the actual material of that, mm -hmm. that physical product as well. Um, so once we have charity as well, so we have a charity account too, that we just donate 1% of the money that we get in to our charity as well. So that's, that's kind of another thing. So once you add up all of these and figure out what percentage in each of these columns there is, that's your current percentage of allocation. Mm -hmm. And then in Profit First, it gives you a lot of great examples of where you should be at what size business you are. And I have this in the blog post. But with that being said, you want to try to figure out how to get from where you are to where you want to be. To kind of show you, I think it was two years ago, our operating expense was like 90%. Yeah. And profit was like nothing. And we barely paid ourselves. And it was amazing to look at it. And we've gotten operating expenses essentially down to about 70, 68% now. And it took a lot of hard work and a lot of cutting. And that includes inventory. That's inventory and. Yeah, yeah. inventory and, yeah. and our operating expense. And he tells you to start out when you're first starting out with Profit First, he tells you to take just a small amount of profit, you know, 1%. That's all you have to start with because all you're trying to do is get in a habit of doing it. Doing profit. Yeah. First. And then next time you take 2% and then you kind of build up from there. Until, and by next you know, time, every quarter yeah, you go every up quarter. or down, depending yeah. on where you are. And then the second person you pay is yourself. Mm -hmm. You're doing this for a reason to make a paycheck. So the second, and this is for beginning businesses, make profit 1%, owner's comp 1%. Taxes, you have to pay the tax man. So make sure you have money in there. I love the tax account because when my accountant says to me, you owe $60,000 to the federal government, I say, okay, here you go. It's in my tax account. Mm -hmm. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to be like, oh my gosh, where am I going to get that money? Because that's what we used to do. Yep. Same thing with the cost of goods account, the inventory account. We just talked about that. When a supplier gives us a bill, we have the money in that account because we, we know the percentage of inventory. And the nice thing is if you're a Q4 company, January, February, March, April, the first three quarters of the year, you're building up that inventory account. And then when Q4 comes and you have to order all that inventory, you have the money to do that. The key is that you don't touch it for anything else. So just because you have, I don't know, $200,000 sitting in your inventory account waiting for fourth quarter, it doesn't mean that in Q2 you go in and touch that because you have that money there. It's for inventory and shipping purposes only. Yeah. So to just go into the business assessment a little bit more before we go on, let's try sharing our screen. <laughs> It's not too hard, I don't think. All right, so now we are sharing our screen. So this is the, the worksheet that I've given you guys. And so um, you can just go to file, make a copy for that, and then just kind of go and it will come over to your Google Drive so you can edit it. Um, here's the article. So you can click over to the article inside this document as well. But this is the business ass assessment. It's pretty easy. And so let's just say that our company made a million dollars on Amazon. $1 million on Amazon. And so it calculates kind of everything for you. Amazon's usually about, let's just say 30% of your fees. And so we're going to take away 300,000 from that, that second line. So take away your Amazon fees right here. 
And so money that hit the bank is your real revenue account. So let's say we had $700,000 hit the bank and we profited, let's just say we profited uh, 35,000. We'll try to keep numbers easy here. And then we paid ourselves another 35,000. And then our taxes that we paid last year were closer to 30,000. I hope I'm getting all this adding up correctly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So then operating expenses, this is going to be your big one. And so let's say that for inventory, we spent, let's just say 250,000. And then for this, we spent another 250,000. That's software, that's staff, that's everything. What percentage are we at? Let's, let's add this up real quick. So we're at 86%. Um, let's see. Like I said, we're improving this, so. Bear with us. Let's say we paid ourselves a little bit more. Let's go to 70,000. And then now we're at 91%. And let's say we profited a little bit more. So now we're that at 96. More sense. 96%. Yeah. And then sure right. you gave, yeah, 4% of that. 4% of 700,000 is a hard number to do in my head, but that should be around 30,000. All right. So we're at 100. No, I don't know what happened, but <laughs> I know what happened. We're not quite to the bottom yet. All right, cool. So we'll do this. There we go. Perfect. So you can see that when you're looking at this, we profited 10%. We want our goal to be 14%. So the Delta difference is what we want to hit is 98% or 98,000. And so the difference between the two is 28,000. So we need to figure out how to profit $28,000 more. So we got to figure out where to take that down. We want to pay ourselves 10%. We did pay ourselves 70,000. 10% is 70,000. So we hit our goal spot on. So we don't need to change that at all. Our taxes, we had 30,000 in taxes, but we were trying to save 10%. And so 70,000 should have been what we paid in taxes maybe. So we need to start thinking about saving more for taxes. And so we need to change that number, get it closer to that 10% goal. So we're not surprised when the tax bill comes. Operating expense, we spent 250,000. We want to be at 245,000. So we need to figure out how to bring that up percentage down by $5,000. So what you do is you go through your monthly expenses, 5,000 divided by 12 is 600. So find something that's $600 and cut it out. It could be advertising, it could be budgeting, it could be anything. Inventory, we spent 250,000. We only wanted to spend 210,000. We either need to adjust this, bring it down, um, or we need to talk to our suppliers about bringing costs down by about 40,000. shipping 000. issues, you know, it could be the way you're shipping things, you know, mm -hmm. that type of thing that can make a big difference. And then finally, charity, we spent 30,000. We only wanted to spend 7,000, so we can take that down 23%. And so we could take money out of the charity and put it more towards these other goals as well. So that's your business assessment. You're just putting in the numbers from your P&L for the year into here, and then it calculates everything else. Yeah. So I'm going to delete those so you guys can copy this over. All right, perfect. All right, so um, that's kind of the first part of Profit First. And then to gradually get over to this, this is what the spreadsheet that I, we use in our business. So what happens is we get paid. And let's say to make numbers easy again, our goal for this, we want to profit 15%. We want owner's comp to be 10%. We want taxes to be 10%. We want operating expense to be 37, inventory to be 27, and charity to be 1% percent as well. I don't have to put I Love Cares Foundation for that. So what I do is I calculate all the money that's come in and we do this on Amazon's paycheck day. So Amazon pays you every two weeks. We do this every two weeks and then we add the Shopify income, the PayPal income, any other income that we have coming in like Amazon affiliate and we'll put it all in here. Obviously I'm going to use a round number for simplicity but we're going to do 100,000 again and you can see it automatically calculates. So what we do then is we go in to our bank account and we have a real revenue account. That's our main bank account that everything goes into. That's where Amazon's money goes into. Shopify, so PayPal. Don't change that account. Whatever Amazon is already paying you in, keep that as your real revenue account. And then we opened up five other bank accounts and then the sixth is a charity account. So it goes to charity. So the first place we transfer money, we transfer $15,000 to our profit and emergency fund. The profit account is used for profit. So you're planning profit and the profit, what we do at the end of every quarter 
is we take half the profit and we distribute it to the owners. And so we're mostly the owners. So we do a distribution to ourselves, but we have other people that have invested with us as well. And then they get paid as well. And so um, they're not as big of an equity owner as we are, but they still make some. And then we keep half of it in there for emergency emergencies like COVID. Yeah. And now um, in the book, it says for this profit or emergency fund that you should, if you have any outstanding loans or anything like that, that you're wanting to pay down, then you should use that account, the majority of it, I think everything but 1%. Um, and you should pay those loans down. Yeah. Get debt free. Um, become debt free as Instead quickly of as doing you the can. Distribution. So, exactly. So the next one is uh, owner's comp account. So we take 10%. So that's $10,000. And we'll take that and we'll pay ourselves 10%. So we do monthly distributions for our W-2 salary mm -hmm. payments, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. Payroll, there we go. <laughs> and so, you know, you, if you do payroll every two weeks, this is perfect. You know exactly what to pay yourself. And that's your, uh, that, that can be your net or your gross, whatever you want to do it. So your tax is then we're saving 10% in a tax account. So then we have another tax account, bank account that we set up and 10% goes to that. So we'll transfer 10,000 to that. Finally, operating expense is the same as our real revenue account. And so we pay all our credit cards off and we pay for anything else in there. Mm -hmm. um, the shipping there is shipping to the customer. And then finally, our inventory or cost of goods account, we are at 27%. So I'll transfer 27,000 to that. And that builds up over time. If your inventory account is in excess, that is when you can either plan for fourth quarter, of course, or you can plan for another product release. release a new product. This yeah. is the most common question I get asked in the Amazon businesses. Okay, I'm selling five a day and I'm ready to launch my second product, but I'm going out of stock of my first. And so mm -hmm. never go out of stock of your first product. Put all the money towards that first product until you are stable. And once you are stable with that product and you're paying all expenses and you're paying all inventory, that is when you come out with your second product. So wait to come out with that second product until the inventory account is in surplus. Take into account Q4. And then finally, charity. We donate 1% to charity of the cash that we receive. Um, it is a charity that we run and it helps with mission work that we, we do. And so that's essentially how we run Profit First. Yeah. Um, again, you can get this worksheet, this template worksheet and everything um, copied over your Google Drive so you can have it. Works pretty well. So let me stop sharing my screen. All right, let me see if we have anything else to really go over. Um, I also put examples from our business in that blog post. So go check that out and then go check out the book. So Mike Michalowicz, Profit First, check it out on Amazon Audible. I actually have them all on physical hard copies <laughs> and I have them all on Audible because I've cool. listened to Profit First probably three times. I've read it three times. Um, his other books like The Pumpkin Plan is really good if you run an agency. Work. Clockwork is really Clockwork's good. good if you want to get out of your business. Yeah. And so you don't want to participate in it or to get to the point to where you're doing only what you love to do. Mm -hmm. um, another great book by him. Pumpkin Plan's great if you're running an agency. Um, I'd recommend that. So I had everybody in my agency read that book. I hope they have because it, it really is a game changer for that. And then what's the one he just came out with? I don't remember. I don't remember either. <laughs> but it just came out and it's essentially tying everything together. And so... Um, you figure out with this new book, you figure out what, where you're at with your business and what problems you're having, whether it be sales, profit operations, and then it shows you which book to buy based on that. So if you're working on sales, it's pumpkin plan and surge. Um, if you're working on profits, profit first, if you're working on operations, it's clockwork. So mm -hmm. go check it out. Also check out the blog post down in the comments below. Let us know if you have any questions, of course, let me see if we have any other Here's questions. Question. What is your bank of choice that allows for zero balance with no fees? Bank mm -hmm. of America. So Bank yeah, of America, we, for everything. we leave like 10 cents in like some of the accounts because we'll transfer to owner's comp and then we'll pay out of it and we'll leave 10 cents in it. Um, but if you keep enough in Bank of America as a whole, then it will allow you to be able to um, not pay any fees on all those different accounts. Yeah, and you have to know yourself too. Like in the book, he recommends that you, for some of them, I think it's your profit account, that you choose a bank that's just difficult to access basically. Um, but we've actually found that it's a lot easier to just be at the same bank um, and that's how we like to do it. So know yourself, know your business and- Know your willpower. <laughs> and they also have a profit first for e-commerce sellers. Um, we did this video more for Amazon businesses 
but the e-commerce sellers brings that inventory account into yeah, it's good. fruition. I didn't like it as much. I like the original profit first, yeah. mainly because I like Michael Michalowicz. So if you're going to get the audible version, get Michael Michalowicz's He's profit first. He's fun to listen to. He's fun <laughs> to listen to. He's funny. Um, the e-commerce seller, no offense, was not as funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. If you have any questions about profit first, let us know down in the comments below. And if you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube, make sure you hit that like button down below and share it with your friends if you can. So, all right. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks.